Hey everyone and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to set up Steam VR on any PC so you can play wirelessly with the Oculus Quest 2. So the first thing you need to do is go to the oculus.com website and if you go to slash setup you'll go straight to the right page here. I'll put these links in the description as we go. So first we need to get the Oculus Quest app. So because I'm using the Quest 2, I'm going to download the Quest software, but this also works with the Rift S or the standard Oculus. So download the relevant version for your device here. Once that's downloaded, set it installing. Now this process does take quite a long time. You can see that I've already got it installed, but once you set this going, it will take five to 10 minutes depending on your PC or cloud PC in our case as I'm using the Shadow PC here. But once you've got it installed, you don't need to go through the setup and you can see here that I've got it installed, but I haven't got it set up directly to a device. It just needs to be installed. So while you're waiting for that, or once that's done, you need to head over to Steam and you will also need Steam VR. Now you need to go to the store tab and search for Steam VR. If you don't do this, you'll get errors when you try and start up the games. It's not as obvious where Steam VR is, so you need to look through this list and find the one that is just Steam VR on its own that says VR supported and no price. Get that installed. You can see I've already got that installed here. And now you are pretty much good to go. There's just one more thing that you need to download, and that is the virtual desktop streamer. So if we head back to the browser and search for virtual desktop streamer, again, I'll put all the links in the description below. And you want to grab the streamer app from their website for your system. So this does work on Mac as well, but I'm using a Windows Cloud PC. So I'll install the streamer here. This one's really quick to install. But again, I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to launch it to show you the settings here. Now, if you've got things like the overlay for Afterburner and Reva Tuner, you'll get some warnings here, as well as the NVIDIA game overlay. If you do disable those, they will give you a bit of extra frame rate, but I keep them on because I like those overlays. Then you need to put in your Oculus username. So whatever you set up your Oculus account under, just put the username here. That's all you need and hit save. Leave the preferred codec to automatic and then obviously make sure you've got allow remote connections. Start with Windows and it's always good to have it start minimized in the tray and leave the rest as default here. And now you are all set up and good to go. So let's head over to my Quest 2 device. On here you need to go into the Quest store and search for virtual desktop. Now, depending on where you are, depends on the price of this. It was £15 for me in the UK, so it's about the same in dollars. So you want the virtual desktop app here. As you can see, I've already got it installed, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now, as long as that streamer was set up, you should now see it in your computers list. And I'll just very quickly show the settings here. I'm going to put my bitrate up to 50 megabits per second to give a good high quality and leave everything else set as standard. And I've also set it to high in 72 frames per second with the VR bit rate at 81 megabits per second there. So now if I hit my shadow, which is on a different network because it's over the internet, which is a cloud PC, you can see that I have connected and I'd already set up Sniper Elite VR to play here. You can see that it looks pretty good. However, I did get this kind of screen effect where it looks like I'm looking at a window of my desktop. So if you go back into the virtual desktop settings, which is the left menu bar on the Oculus controller, then you get the switch to VR option. So you want to make sure that you are in that VR mode. So if you open up that menu and you still see switch to VR there, make sure you go and hit that to make sure you get the full screen. And now you'll be in the full 360 VR mode rather than just having this kind of virtual desktop follow where you're looking. There you have it. That's how to set up Steam VR to be wireless via virtual desktop on any PC. So I hope you guys enjoy and depending on your latency, you will barely notice that you are wireless and that you are actually gaming in the cloud. Let us know in the comments below what games you've been playing on Steam VR wirelessly. 
and what device you're using, whether it's the original Quest or the Quest 2 or another device. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud and virtual reality, and we will see you next time.